Introplex Phanithia. That's when um, your penis enlarges by 10 inches and then it inverts, turning into a vagina. You're mine. <laughs> I haven't even had coffee yet. To us. <laughs> I haven't even had coffee yet. Whomever He's got a power too! Compelled to kill. But then a boy came along who decided Because they're trying to climb out of hell. Oh my god. Wouldn't you know it? That boy wow. was you. Satoru. Whoa! I forgot all about that story. Dude, I got so much to say on afterthoughts on that. Whoa. That was Look, he's gone! He's dead! Whoa! Whoa! But now look, he doesn't experience, he's not, he didn't, he's erased. He's erased, yeah. Look, he's not in the window! Look, he's not there! Their eyes are crossed out! He's not a shadow, he's not a silhouette! Thing is to let her know when I was conscious It's flipped again. now. In his mind, he talks as a kid. She got another thing to stimulate And out muscles. loud he talks as the adult. Oh! Whoa! Huh? Huh? Oh, look who it is! Hiromi! He looks just like- I didn't catch that last time. Her and Hiromi hooked up! Lashes. The blonde? Yeah, Hiromi is, like um, the gay one, I think. That's a cool name. Yeah, 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 Hiromi's the, the one the that would look like a girl. He's the one that came into the room and had the you suit. Know, the lawyer. We felt weird about Kenya is the blonde one. And here I am with my very own family. Oh! Who made that possible. So thank you. What? We've been She's rooting like, for Kyle this you. whole time. You'll remember me in time. Damn. <laughs> that was aggressive. <laughs> oh. Would you push the button for the roof? He had him push the button because ah! so it's like roof. he's suicide. Ah. Let it begin. Come that on! Was so fast! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! This is exciting. Let's go straight into afterthoughts. Ah! <laughs> Smith's a flop. <laughs> Smith's a flop? <laughs> Smith's a flop. <laughs> that is um, when you have to fart, so you gape your butt, but air comes in. <laughs> <laughs> Afterthoughts. Afterthoughts. Mr. Flop. <laughs> Alright, first things first. I was, in the beginning, I was joking that he took them home and killed them, but then he actually did. <laughs> Dude, that story within a story of of the rats or of the, the, the gerbil hamsters. hamsters. <laughs> the hamsters and the spider story. So he tells the story, the teacher, he tells the story of getting all of these hamsters from the class because it had had a bunch of hamster babies. It's metaphorical because he's he's the hamster that survived. Yeah, Satoru is the hamster yeah. that survived. But he dumps all the hamsters into a big jar of water to watch him drown because he's an evil, sadistic bastard. But one survives by, by standing on the dead corpse of the other one, which is his fa- and then he had a fascination with that one that survived. And then he goes on to tell a further story of- of the guy who saved a spider, but he did go to hell because he was a terrible person. Mm. But, now th this is the story that I wanted to dive into here. That- th that this guy was burning in hell, right? And then he saved a spider, so the spider was in heaven or whatever, in paradise. And he- he puts down a, a Buddha. string of- Buddha put down. <laughs> Buddha? Yeah, Buddha shot I didn't down hear a that spider part. out of his- I mean, he shot down a web out of his dick. And- No, yeah, that's what happened. Play it right now. He's like, Buddha was pleased by this act of mercy, mm. so he sent down a spider's okay. web. As an ironic- As an- Ah, uh, yeah, because you said out of his dick. I was like, you- I didn't believe anything you said I, at that point. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, so Buddha shoots down a web because of how he saved a spider oh, once. And so the guy tries to climb out, but- he would have made it if it wasn't for his fellow sinners that tried to climb up the web too that snapped it for everybody. Mm. And it's kind of like... He tried to kick him down. Yeah, he tried to kick him down, but that wasn't it. It was just a wait, you know? He just tried to get rid of him. But the point of the matter is, is that I saw it as 
it, I saw it as company loves misery or misery loves company that mm. he could have saved himself, but it's because of the company that he chose to align himself with that ultimately brought him down. There was no saving grace for him because of the, the, the company that he spent with all of like, because he's a sinner, because he's an evil person. Everybody that he that he engaged with is what dragged him down. So it's like it's like if if all your friends are evil and all and you all you do is make friends with bad people, you may be <laughs> doubting that. We're looking at me like that for it's you. <laughs> I'm trying to find the web and you pull me down. What? But if you what? have, no matter how good you try to be, if you don't cut those bad people out of your life, they'll drag you back down. That's what I got out of it. That's interesting. Yeah. And and he, and I think that parable was the teacher was trying to say that he was the bad person. Because he would see these spider silks, uh, these webs on other people. And that meant that they were trying to climb out of their terrible situation. And he always, he always went after people who were having a bad time, you know, all... No friends. So in his eyes, it's like a redemption. No, not a redemption. It's he's the sinners pulling you back down. He's the evil mm. that's pulling you back into hell. He's that's what he sees himself as the mm. evil pulling you back. So he sees these people with a silk of thread coming off their head because they're trying to get they're trying to come out of hell. They're trying to get out of their terrible predicament that they're in because they're always alone. They usually always have abusive families or whatever, which is why they're alone. But he goes after already ruined people. And he cuts the web by killing them, bringing them down to hell with him. Mm. I think that's all I had to note about this episode. But, ooh, it's intense. And the intro, how he was gone. Because all of that life he spent, he went back in time. And, and now, yeah, it's all erased. His entire life was erased. It wasn't Kyle this whole time. We had to worry about being erased. It was him, unless he goes back in time and changes it, but I, I mean, I know the truth, but I'm just going to say for your case, if he doesn't, his entire life will be, have been erased just to save I think those three he lives. Will. I think he'll, he'll be like, I remember you, and then he'll go back in time. From his revival, but his revival doesn't save himself. He's, he, what he's going to do is be like, I have this revival, and I'm going to go back in time, and I'm going to get you. But, okay, I was looking to that. And man, the mom is just, again, the best mom ever, just taking care of him all those years. And then we get to see Kayo had a baby with Hiromi, I think that's his name, the gay one? The one that looked that like sucks. a little girl? That sucks, man. Could have been with him. Yeah, damn. That's what it should have been. That's why, because see, when the girl can't get that, when can we get the guy, she usually goes for the best friend because he's like, he's like him. Mm. So she wanted to have sex with, with Satoru, but she couldn't. Oh, well, she should have went with the blonde guy, Kenya. Yeah. Right? Kenya was way cooler than Hiromi. Kenya is really cool. But yeah, so it's, it's hitting the climax here. Woo! It's exciting. Uh. See, now all the mystery is done away with. Now we just got to see how they're what the resolve is. We got to see how is he going to get out of this and what are they going to do. It's terrifying. You have anything else to say? start the next episode <laughs> well now it's just an afterthoughts mm. don't forget to like it share it spread it around the like an STD oh. or like AIDS shove it up the ass of all your friends I was gonna say cover your toast of social media with the jelly of our channel <laughs> <laughs> or your channel correct me if I'm wrong That amused me more than it should have. <laughs> Peace out, deuce.